Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the destination for the 76ers. Perhaps the most skilled scorer in the game today. James Harden just can't be guarded. His offensive masterclass will be in session soon as they prepare to get busy in the Pfizer Forum. Sixers, Bucks is coming up next, and we'll be right back. It's our favorite day of the year in 2K Sports. At long last, it's time to roll the ball out there and get the new season of NBA basketball underway. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. And a look now at the Milwaukee Bucks' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Then on Monday, they'll face off against Kyle Lowry and the Miami Heat. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Tucker and Embiid make up the front court. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris in at the small forward position. And for the Bucks, on the wings, it's Allen and Middleton. Giannis and Lopez together down low. And it's Holiday in at the point. Opening day of the regular season, Grant. Nothing quite like this first one of the year. You know, as a former player, you know firsthand that there's so much anticipation and hard work that goes into making making it to opening day. So everyone right now is on a level playing field and the dream is still alive. Tip-off goes to Mil... Pass to Anadokounmpo Over Tucker That one's wide left And so it's Harden with it He brings it up for the 76ers For three, Maxi. It's good Off the assist from Harden You've come to expect great passing from Harden He's got a reputation for finding open guys Now Anadokounmpo Middleton looking around. Back to Ana Kumpo. Six to shoot. Got it. Good job in the low post. Could have been called a foul. But Giannis stayed locked in and focused. Now Harden. To the middle. Here's Embiid. No good with a layup. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Lopez, the screen on Harden. Here's Holiday. No good. A bit long that time. Outside Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Lopez. Indeed misses. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You gotta appreciate that stop. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Middleton. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. The obvious work ethic of Middleton on full display there. I mean, the quick release off the pass, which leaves the defense without much to do. Now here's Harden. Pass to Tucker. The three ball. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And Grant, while James Harden is no stranger to trade requests, the Sixers front office, no stranger to him either. And they've shown the patience to wait for the right deal before. In the meantime, there's the business of winning games. Middleton against Harris. That's about as good a job you can do as a defender. Affect the shot and grab and secure the rebound. And it's Maxi missing. 
for Milwaukee. They've gone two for five here in the first. Lopez is screen on Harris. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Joel Embiid. And you've got to be careful with Middleton down low. I mean, he's very talented in how he gets defenders to bite in the post. one falls for him. Boy, for me, it's really been fun watching the evolution of Chris Middleton. I mean, a rangy two-guard who can really stuff the stat sheet. And that's good as he hits both shots. Well, Clark, in the 2023 playoffs, the Milwaukee Bucks got sent home in the first round. And in the eighth versus one seed upset. We all thought they were set to make a deep playoff run. But injuries, untimely as they were, and the Heat had other plans. Now here's Harris. Here's Embiid. And count that two points and a chance for one more at the line. You know, it's the muscle and size of Embiid that allow him to score three times. And it's going to be something. guys at the center position Joel Embiid as unique a player as we've got in the league in terms of his size just mammoth and his agility and skill level so special for a guy of his size his production is absolutely crazy perennial MVP candidate now and perhaps for several years to come Milwaukee no good that time either that's his shot and one I'm sure he wants back Pass to Harris. Embiid, a screen on Middleton. Harris, outside. Let's it fly. Milwaukee with the rebound. For the defense refusing to give up anything easy. I love seeing that kind of intensity. Middleton passes to Holiday. And that! Off the assist by Middleton. This isn't a shot Holiday will pass up. He's a reliable three-point shooter. Philadelphia has gone two for three from outside the arc. Harden, the pass to Maxi. Embiid, the screen on Allen. Here's Maxi. Misses off the right iron. Milwaukee has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Lopez, the screen. And so it's Harden with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Milwaukee this season. Yeah, we saw how combative yet enjoyable last season's series was. Two very excellent teams going at it. Exactly. They split the series, Greg. Two elite teams and conference foes renewing that rivalry tonight. Now here's Middleton. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Shoots over Harden, and out of the Kupo, the bucket. All the assist by Middleton. Out of the Kupo's got his second bucket on the night. Here's Harden. No points yet. For three, here's Harris. He drops it from range. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. The 76ers have gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. Outside Harden. On to Kumpo against Tucker. Harris down low. Late clock. The Sixers need to pull one up here. On target from range. 
Harris spots the opening and helps his team exploit it. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rush stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Lopez for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Embiid. Pass to Hardy. Embiid a screen on Holiday. Hardy the pass to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. And the slashing Embiid is impossible to match up with. Terrific at cutting off the ball after the screen. On to Kumpo with it. Shot from 12. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Harden. There's the three. Fires in the triple. Now it's a 6-point 76ers lead. Wow, their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Here's Middleton. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. If you look back on Sixers history, the list of legendary big men is a long one. Exactly, B.A. And let me tell you this. Embiid's name is right there near the top of that list. You know, you think about the likes of Chamberlain, Moses Malone, those guys certainly on the list. Embiid joining them, that says a lot. That free throw good for Middleton. And you think about the value of continuity, Clark. A new coaching staff for these Bucks, but the roster has had plenty of time to develop chemistry. Well, I'll tell you what, Giannis is at the center of everything they do, B.A., including winning that championship. Not many conflicting personalities certainly helps, and these guys are well molded together. Both free throws good from Middleton. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Greg. Whoa, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. There are very few any better than Harden at the and one. He's an expert. He looks for the contact, initiates it, gets it, and still finishes. You can't be too physical with it. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Philadelphia. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. That's good from Harden. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. Oh, I like seeing Middleton focus from downtown. That release of his, pure as white driven snow. Here's Harden. The kick out to Maxi. Launches a three. It's hauled in by Portis. Milwaukee has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Now outside. Back to Holiday. Can't get it. He's now one of four from the floor. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. Melton passes to Maxi. Harden against Holiday. Out to the wing. Here's Tucker. Yes! And a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got five assists in the game. This is a shot Tucker has in his bag. The defense has to know that. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Middleton. Got a piece of it. Now Portis. Back to Middleton. And the bucket is good. 
Oh, I like the finesse and the focus that Middleton plays with. I mean, that's part of what allows him to finish off these tough hoops. Philadelphia calls the timeout. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. here for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Lopez. Connaughton comes in for Allen. And Beasley has subbed in for Drew Holiday. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Beverly, he's checked in for Harden. Pass to Beverly. Here's Tucker. Pure from three-point range. Tucker's got eight. Hey, one of the strongest part of Tucker's game was knocking down that three-point shot. He doesn't need much space to get it off. And they double up Middleton. Shot clock at six. Porter's shot is off. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. And here's Beverly. Floats one up. And no good. Excellent D there from Carlton. Pass to Middleton. And there's a minute 45 left in the opening quarter. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Beverly, the pass to Bamba. Now here's Maxi, covered by Connaughton. Back to Melton. Let's the three fly. Milwaukee with the rebound. On the wing, Connaughton. Maxi covering. Portis, the pass to Connaughton. From the arc. Drops in the three. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. And Maxie's got the ball here for the 76ers. They lead by four. Pass to Melton. Beverly outside. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. How do you stop this? I mean, it seems like they can't miss. Now here's Middleton. He's got 11. Beasley for three. They get the rebound. Portis gets the bucket. Hard to exceed Portis's level of energy. I mean, he just doesn't seem to ever stop. Now here's Beverly. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter here. Milwaukee has gone four of nine from beyond the three-point line in this first quarter. Crowder, pass to Middleton. Portis with a screen on Tucker. Middleton, the rebound by Bamba. Bamba's got four rebounds in the game. Connaughton against Maxey. 
Puts up a three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. James Harden. He's been the guy making things happen for the Philadelphia 76ers. Moving the rock and looking for a shot. It's clear he's in a good rhythm. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. Puts the defense right up against you. The Sixers leading. So on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. We've got Mo Bamba, De'Anthony Melton out there with Paul Reed. Then it's James Harden, and it's Beverly in at the point. Count the basket. Harden's got 11 points. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Philadelphia has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Beverly, the pass to Melton. Back to Beverly. Shoots over Beasley. Here's Melton. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. They pen that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Willing to sacrifice himself for the play. Melton took that foul. Now one misses. Well, Clark, it's nice to have a guard like the Anthony Melton who takes care of business on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I love that about an old school two way guard, BA. Because he can make shots, he can make plays, but he also can defend. And he does it all with the level of professionalism and focus that you like to see. House, he's checked in for Reed. And he sinks the second. And with players like Moran and Giannis last season getting undercut around the rim, would you support moving the charge circle out of foot, Grant? You know, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, I don't see why not. The lead wants more highlights and less injuries, so it seems to make a lot of sense to me. And the basket is good. Six points for him. Giannis has added the mid-range game to his arsenal, and he's very effective from there. Here's Harden. Milwaukee with the rebound. Portis has got four rebounds now. Beasley with it. No made baskets yet. Three-pointer. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. So that's Beasley's shot right there. He loves to rise and fire and knock him down from behind the arc. Wow, the screen on Carlton. Here's Harden. Pass to Melton. Up and over Crowder. The Sixers again can't hit. Milwaukee's got five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Here's out of the Kumbo. Philadelphia grabs the miss. When this game is done, they'll be off to Toronto, taking on the Raptors. That'll wrap up this short two-game road trip. Beverly, the pass to Harden. The Sixers with another miss. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Cool. Yeah, he's using his length inside. Can't let Andre Dekumpo get deep positioning like that because this is what happens. Harden against Collinson. And down it goes. Two points. Harden's got four points this quarter. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. 
Beasley finds Portis. Connaughton with the ball. From downtown, and Beasley gets it to go. Ugly assist by Connaughton. Beasley's got six points. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. And here's Harden. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Melton outside. Pass to House. Let's it go from deep. Nails it from three. House has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's on to Kumpo. Give him eight points now. Hold the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way though. He's got ten. Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. On the screen on Carlton. Harden. Again, Philadelphia. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Joel Embiid talked about setting the tone. He said it's not easy being a leader. I'm not an off-the-court guy. I'm more reserved. But on the court, I show up. That's the way I like to lead, dominating on the court. Offensively, defensively, and try to bring everybody along with me. Brian? He does it well, for sure. Ali, thanks for that. Now here's Ana Kumpo. He's got 12. Crowder outside. Beasley, pass to Ana Kumpo. Sinks it again. That's his seventh great field goal in 11 tries. He is certainly one of the few true franchise cornerstones in the league. Few guys can take over a game like the Greek Freak. Now here's Hart. He's got 15. It's all in by Portis. Portis has got rebound number seven tonight. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Honor to Kumpo. Pass to Crowder. Here's Beasley. A rebound by Bamba. Bamba's got six rebounds in the game. The Sixers trailing. Harden surveying the D. Excellent D there from Carlton. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Pass to Crowder. Portis with a screen on Melton. On the Kumpo, outside. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Bamba's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now Beverly. Now Harden. Over Connaughton. Harden's shot is good. Harden's got 17 points. If you give Harden even a sliver of space in the mid-range area, forget about it. Back to Ana Kumpo. Already seven lead changes. These teams are really going after each other. It's been a brutal game to play, but a fun one to watch. Timeout call for the 76ers. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question.
Brooks will go for a different look here. Brook Lopez is checked in for Portis. Middleton comes in for Crowder. Allen, he's checked in for Connaughton. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Beasley. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Bamba. Tucker comes in for House. Tobias Harris checked in for Melton. And it's Tyrese Maxey in for Beverly. Kumpo with it. Defended by Harden. Allen outside. This one for three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Yeah, no, he usually makes you pay from that range. Harden against out of the Kumpo. Pass to Embiid. No stopping Joel Embiid. Wow. Hey, go to that whenever you can. I mean, Embiid has a huge advantage in size and skill. Lopez, the screen. Here's out of the Kumpo. Ooh, he's looking good tonight. He's drilled 9 of 15 so far. And Grant, the fantastic voyage of James Harden continues. His fourth team in as many seasons. Yeah, well, hopefully the grass is greener in this new pasture. And for the player known as the Beard, perhaps a chance to grow. Love the way MD knows how to play with force down low, which in turn makes the defense get physical with it. Guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. You know, I also like Super the fact two. they've been really aggressive in attacking from behind the arc. They could do a lot of damage from there tonight. First free throw is good. Physicality of MB, unmatched really, yet he's so much fun to watch because he's agile, has skill and touch. Man, is he a joy to watch work. Bobby Portis has checked in for Milwaukee. Both shots good from the strike. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Holiday taking his time here. Portis finds Lopez. Here's Middleton. And it's Harris with the rebound. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Outside Tucker. Back to Harden. Tucker with a screen. Harden can't hit. <laughs> he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Middleton outside. From outside the arc. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got rebound number five here tonight. Harden against Middleton. Outside Harden. Pass to Maxi. Embiid is screen on Allen. For three, Maxi. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. And here's Holiday. Middleton outside. Takes the three. 
buries it from three. Middleton's got 14 points. I'll tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas than other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Harris has screen on Holiday. For three, Maxi. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Allen against Maxi. Allen, pass to Portis. Middleton outside. And another three for Milwaukee. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. Harden against Portis. Harden misses. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside Holiday. Pass to Portis. And here's Lopez. Defended by Harden. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Portis. Portis has got his fifth assist in this one. Harris outside. And the 76ers another three. You know, the mindset Harris has is one that allows him to be ready to shoot as soon as that ball touches his hands. Catch and fire. Harris against Middleton. Fires the three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. 41 seconds left in the second period. Pass to Embiid. Outside for Harden. Fires for three. Rebounded by Lopez. Milwaukee has gotten only four of nine from beyond the arc here in the second. Middleton finds Holiday. Portis outside. Lots of room. And Tucker pulls it down. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing. But they don't want to chance that again. Harden the pass to Maxi. Harden with a screen on Allen. Over to the wing. The fadeaway. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow! Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter to give you a little feel-good momentum. James Harden, he's been the guy making things happen for the 76ers. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Welcome, folks. The Philadelphia 76ers going head-to-head -head in what's been a neck-and-neck -neck battle through two quarters. And, fellas, when you're enjoying an NBA game here on 2K Sports, what really puts it over the top? Uh, it's a tough one, Ernie, but I have to say not button mashing through the cutscenes. What is not button mashing through the What does that even mean? Kenny, you don't know because you do it all the time. It's when you keep hitting that button to skip all the in-between stuff and get back to playing. Next time you're playing, don't do it. Slow down. Savor all that hard work put in by our fine 2K crew. And they're paying me to say that. Switching back now to the Philadelphia 76ers, they've been fighting it out through the first half of play. Man, I'm just looking at these assist totals, man, and they've done a nice job of sharing a rock, man. Unselfish play, man. That's my type of basketball. Kenny does have the best assist numbers on this set. Nope. Yeah. Yes, Shaq, he does. Whatever. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. Basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. And you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. That small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis, Holiday and Allen in the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the center position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. They get it back. Great D that time from Ana Kupo. The Bucks trail. Allen, the pass to Ana de Kumpo. Allen on the wing. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. To the paint. Here's Middleton. No luck on that one. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. The 76ers shooting the ball at 43% from the field. From the corner. And another miss by Philadelphia. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Holiday finds Ana de Kumpo. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Against contact, got to stay strong. It just looks so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Embiid. The Sixers again can't hit. Nice work defensively. Beating him up top and forcing the miss. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That's his third foul of the game. To the left wing. Allen outside. The three is up. Six on the shot clock. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. It's good from about 19 feet. Embiid's got 13. They can finally relax after missing their first four shots to start this half. Here's out of the Kumpo. There's the block. A rare rejection that time from Tucker using that long reach though and times it perfectly. And here's Ana Kumpo. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle with their offensive end. And Philadelphia has possession. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Embiid. Good work defensively by Lopez. For Milwaukee, they've gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Pass to Allen. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Defended by Harden. Let's it go. And Ana de Kumpo with the basket. On the assist by Allen. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. And stolen by Holiday. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. All right, now that we have a break, let's take a look at which teams capitalized from the line last season. The 76ers, number one. Well, last year, they were tremendous at the line. A very fundamentally sound team. And Philadelphia calls time here.
throw shooting, and looking at their defensive metrics, they were third in lowest opponent scoring. They took pride in shutting down their opponent and working together to make things difficult out there. And the three-point percentage you referred to, they put so much pressure on opponents with their shooting, they'd stretch a defense way beyond the three-point line. The Sixers trailing. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Back to Harden. And stolen by Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stop. Once Giannis gets back close to the rim, you know that he'll do everything he can to make the finish happen. And when it comes to Giannis Antetokounmpo, such a lovable player on and off the floor. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's just such a carefree, gregarious, outgoing personality. Somebody that doesn't take himself too seriously and he likes to tell his fair share of dad jokes, too, which is pretty endearing. Shot clock at two. That's a fly. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I'd like to see him be finishing like that. He's not afraid to get physical, not backing away from the contact while being fouled. One falls. And so he makes both from the line. And the big fellow with the skill level showing a soft touch at the line. Kumpo looking it over. Honor to Kumpo is doubled. Three quarter holiday. And a great assist by Honor to Kumpo. Now when it goes in. Honor Kumpo has got his third assist of the night. Harden against Holiday. Up top, Embiid. It's good from the top of the key. Embiid's got 17. Nothing new for Embiid here. Going off for a big scoring performance. Par for the course. Harris against Middleton. Over Harris. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Maxi. Rejected by Anna Kumpo. No mercy shown that time on D by Giannis. A great rejection. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Outside, pass to Holiday. Three-pointer off the mark. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Lopez against Harden. For three, Maxi sends it home from three-point land. Nine points in the game. This is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Kumpo against Tucker. Puts it up from 12. That one's good for two. Honor Kumpo's got 26 points. And the Greek freak, boy, I tell you, certainly gets the green light. I mean, from that position especially. He's really developed into a nice score from that spot on the floor. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Sixers have so much firepower, but it's all about chemistry. Anyone knows the way teams grow is by talking and being around each other. The connection between the stars is going to help them really reach their peak, Brian. Well, they've had to deal with some adjustments for sure. Allie, thanks. Giannis' teammates know he's selfless. He's going to get the ball to the open guy, and it's on you to find your shot. 
And Philadelphia calls time here. And over the years, one thing we've seen from Drew Holiday, he is clutch, Clark. He sure is, B.A., and not just at the end of games. I mean, he typically does whatever his team needs him to do to get a win. He can dominate from tip to the end of the game, or he can simply beat you with his competitive spirit. The 76ers also with a sub. Melton, he's checked in for Maxi. Milwaukee lead. Philadelphia has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Holiday against Harden. Beyond the arc. No luck on that one. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Out of Kumpo, pass to Lopez. The put back. Rebound by the 76ers. Harris outside. Pass to Harden. And here's Tucker. Melton passes to Embiid. To the inside. Tucker. Yes. And it's Embiid picking up the assist. Tucker's got 10 points in the game. Embiid gives you a lot. Scoring, rebounding, defense, and can also beat you with the pass. Now Holiday, defended by Harden. Lopez passes to Middleton, and they double up Middleton. Just four to shoot. Pass to Beasley. Jacks up a three, and the three-pointer goes. Beasley's got his third bucket of the night. Take a look at his career numbers, and most of Beasley's shots are three. So Malik knows how to knock those down. Back to Embiid. With the fadeaway. Oh, he connects. His seventh basket. He's seven of 15 now. And Embiid is not shy now. Always going to shoot it when he has space. Pass to Ana Kumpo. Here's Embiid, covered by Lopez. Embiid against Lopez. Pass to Melton. Back to Embiid. 
Let's it fly from 18. Again, the Sixers score. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Lopez, the screen on Tucker. And a 15-footer. And it's out of the Kumpo with the miss. And so it's Harden with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Harris. Here's Melton. Here's Embiid. Strong finish by Embiid. Defense goes right at Embiid, but that size and strength of his, he just powers right through. Beasley. Pass to Holiday. Beasley with a screen on Harden. And they call an illegal screen here. Alright, now let's have a look at who was really dominating the boards last season in the third spot. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Simply put, he was terrific down low last year, owning the glass. The Sixers trailing. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally insane. The three, here's Harris. They get it back. Ooh, what a play! Just palms the block. On the Kupo, outside. Middleton with a screen on Tucker. On the Kupo, pass to Middleton. Good! And on the Kupo gets the assist. On the Kupo's got a sixth assist of the night. Holiday against Harden. Embiid high post. And he gets it to go from the high post. Embiid's got 25 points in the game. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Timeout call. Milwaukee. Harden. in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Anadokounmpo, and it's Connaughton in for Holiday. Five left in the third quarter. Colleton left side. Back to Beasley. Clock at six. Takes a three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Now here's Melton. And he's going for the oop. Oh, indeed. Snatches it out of the air and throws it down. And Embiid has a really high basketball IQ, superb at recognizing when to leap for the alley-oop jam. Portis the screen, Beasley for three. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Shot game clock separated by five. Pass to Harden. Out to the right wing. Impede against Portis. Impede inside. And he comes up with a bucket. And now just...
just a one-point Bucks lead. By that time, he got the defense off balance with the well-timed pump fake. Nice work. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. He put together 10 points in the quarter. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Joel Embiid is out there with Paul Reed. Then there's D'Anthony the Elton, and it's Patrick Beverly, and it's Korkmaz in its small forward. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Portis. Oh, and stolen by Beasley. Crowder outside. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Lays it up and banks it in. Ana de Kumpo's got 12 points in just the second half. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. Pass to MB. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here, the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Facing the floor and rising up with that confidence. You know, something else that stood out to me is the fact that they continued to force it inside. They were intentional about getting that ball in the paint, and they were looking to score whenever possible in the post. And he drops it first. drops them both. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Arna Kumpo, the pass to Connaughton. Oh, that's the feed! The jam! Yes. Love the read there from Arna Kumpo. I mean, his basketball high cue is really impressive when it comes to Ali Upatek. Melton passes to Embiid. Beverly outside. The three! And Melton is good for three. Don't give Melton any room from deep. He'll punish you from there. The Bucks have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Porter. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Sixers trailing. Melton with the ball. And he lobs it up top. Crowder with a steal. Oh, what a fast break for the Bucks. Here's out of the Kumpo. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Antetokounmpo. I mean, 
is really good at selling that shot fake. Well, Clark, with his mix of power and length, at times Giannis can seem unstoppable. You know what? Not often is it that one guy forces teams to reconsider their whole defensive Take game break. plan. Take but break. Giannis forces you to build the wall because you don't want him getting downhill or he'll make you suffer the consequences. And he makes the first. He is creeping up in those all-time conversations. Giannis has won regular season and finals MVP plus defensive player of the year. Quite the resume, and he is not done for a while, folks. And the Bucks making a change here. Holiday is checked in. So Ana de Kumpo nails both of them. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Bob on the screen on Connaughton. Melton outside. Six to shoot. The three is up. It's all in by Cordes. Portis has got nine rebounds in the game. Oh, he's getting it done. Here's Anadokounmpo. And the shot goes down. Anadokounmpo's got eight here in this quarter. And Anadokounmpo showing his versatility yet again. His dribble moves are virtually unguardable. Beverly outside. From deep, Melton. The Sixers with another miss. And it's Holiday with the ball for Milwaukee. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. Now against Connaughton. Pass to Ronald Kumpo. And there's the whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Ronald Kumpo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses. And some changes here for the 76ers. Embiid, he's checked in for Bamba. Tobias Harris comes in for Reed. And it's Maxi in for Korkmaz. No good on the second free throw. Finally getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for. Maxi passes to Embiid. Beverly with it. Now Embiid. Shoots over Portis. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Embiid's gotten four this quarter. Outside Holiday. Three-pointer. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Philadelphia has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Harris passes to Maxi. And stolen by Connaughton. Down low. Moves on to Kumpo. And the jam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? I mean, the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And now here's Beverly. Outside Maxi. Oh. 
Embiid is screen on Connaughton for three. Maxi gets the three ball to go. The numbers testify. Tyrese Maxi is one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. From deep, sinks it. What range from downtown? And the Bucks lead by eight. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. Beverly, the pass to Embiid. It's hauled in by Portis. The Bucks have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Anacumpo outside. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. Developing the catch and shoot jumper. Giannis has done a nice job with that. Beverly against Holiday. Beverly outside. And beat finds Maxi. Beverly outside. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, I tell you what, Beverly's really improved as a three-point shooter as the pin the four as they come now, shooting from behind the arc. On the Kupo, outside. That shot missing. Excellent D there from MB. Melton against Crowder. Here's Harris. Rebounded by the Bucks. Oh, the group boys got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Off. And the Bucks call time here. Changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis, and Middleton subbed in for Crowder. Tucker's checked in for Philadelphia. Harden comes in for Beverly. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard from Adrian Griffin as he talked with the team. And they told their team, no easy threes, let's guard that arc, don't let anyone get an open look. With the lead, they want to close this one out with their perimeter defense. Let's see if they do, Brian. All right, appreciate it, Allie. comes up empty at the line and Harris has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers outside Harden over Holiday rebounded by the Bucks 
They host the Hawks after this one, and that'll put them halfway through a three-game homestand. Pass to Connaughton. Holiday is screen on Tucker. Lopez with it. Embiid covers. Lopez in the post. Embiid's there. Pulls it from the corner. Here's Hanada Kumpo. And he lays it up and in. Hanada Kumpo has got 43 points. His big night continues. He is fueling this lead. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. You can see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and a terrific rejection as well. Now here's Holiday. Out of outside. Shoots over Embiid. And out of the Kupo with the basket. On the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid gets the double team. For three, here's Harris. Out of the Kupo grabs the board. Out of the Kupo has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. And Maxi over to help. Back to Lopez. From behind the arc. And the box hit again from deep. He pulled one from deep in the first half. Doing it again here in the second. Philadelphia has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Maxi passes to Harden. And another miss by Philadelphia. It's tough to get open in this league. And when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Lopez finds Holiday. And here's Connaughton from deep. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Here's Maxi. And the layup is good off the glass. Maxi's got five points now in the quarter. Not just the perimeter threat now. Maxi very adept at converting in close to. Here's Hanan Kumpo. Another one falls to Milwaukee. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. And Philadelphia calls time here. performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch. Just a tremendous motor. And he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. If you think it's just another game, he is totally in control of his emotions. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Philadelphia has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Inside, here's Embiid. Oh, look at Embiid, rushing off the hit. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Maxi against Allen, pass to Middleton. And they double up Middleton. Here's Lopez. On the clock. Shoots a fadeaway. And he makes it. And 
the Bucks lead by 14. And you know, Lopez is very much a real threat to drop one in from that range. I mean, he's an excellent shooter for his side. Maxine to the screen on Holiday. Embiid passes to Maxi, and here's Harris outside. He buries it from three. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. And here's Ana de Kupo. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've led by as many as 14. Philadelphia has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Embiid drawn the double team. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid tucks it left. Unforced turnover. You'll drive your coach insane. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. One thirty-six left in the fourth quarter. On to Kumpo with it. Started now by Maxi. Harden against Holiday. Back to Anna Kumpo. Outside Holiday. There's the triple. The rebound by Maxi. The 76ers running out of time. Harris left side. Outside Harden. Tucker with a screen. The three. Rebounded by Lopez. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. At this point, it's looking like it's over. Time is winding down, and this is going to be a win for the Bucks. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Grant. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them, but it must feel great to take the first meeting. And it will be a fight. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable. And those games take on a And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, he was absolutely relentless at the offensive end, guys. Small blood and went for it. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Browder comes in for Honor Kumpo. Beasley's checked in for Allen. Ted Green is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Both three throws good from Middleton. Here's Melton. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Beverly outside. Pass to Bamba. Melton outside. It's Reed, high post. Three on the clock. The three from Bamba. And he can't get that one. Here's Middleton. So this one belongs to the Bucks. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. Saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Giannis, a tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this game so convincingly? Uh, it was a team effort. I think we came out, we did not mess around with the game. We came, we did our job, we defended, we moved the ball, that's why we were able to uh, close the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.